so this is the example of redis as a database so for that purpose i created project and give a name as a redis as a database i am creating package name as a demo for now and yeah okay so package is uh, again com.db.redis okay okay so this is the package i am putting next i want this uh, i was uh, spring data redis you can search it okay and i want spring web okay so next and finish it takes some time to build uh, if you don't have dip already done, downloaded dependency i am using some another dependency called uh, uh, redis client so just go to the google and search redis client maven and after that go to the maven repository just open and choose any version of it and uh, just copy it because uh, why i am telling that choose any version because i don't want to insert version uh, i want spring boot to take care of it okay so just go to the pom.xml these are our already existed dependency and i am putting the jdis okay okay so control shift f and if your auto sync is open just uh, click right click and update update your project okay so this is what it is okay so uh, after that you need to start a redis okay so in previous video we uh, i i told you how to download redis and how to start it so i already started and this is my redis okay so for now we have zero connections okay zero client connected so this is my redis server look at here okay so now let's write a config uh, now let's uh, configure properties file to connect with connect with redis so for that purpose we have the following properties so it's like spring dot redis okay okay spring dot redis dot host uh, basically we have the host is local host and our application start on the port uh, so if you go up 6379 okay so we need a 6379 okay so again we need to specify the port name okay spring dot redis okay redis uh, redis dot port name okay port okay so port is six seven i am not good with number okay six three seven nine six three seven nine okay so okay i don't know why my why my keyboard is not working six uh, this is stuck Okay, now it's working. I don't know why. What happening? Okay, so six three seven nine. Okay, six three seven nine. Six three seven nine. Okay, so I am putting the port here. So this is configuration. Okay. After that, you need to create a JDS connection factory. With the uh, means, you need to configure it. Without it, you are not able to create or communicate with Redis. Okay. So for that purpose, I am creating class. Uh, having a package called config okay and the name of it is redis config redis config okay so with the help of annotation called add direct configuration i am creating it okay it's not loading let's see configuration okay it's loading okay so i created configuration and i need to create a bin first so i am creating bin and uh, so this bin what this bin basically written this bin basically re, uh, written a redis connection factory okay so i am creating public redis connection uh, redis connection factory connection factory uh, okay so this is interface and get connection factory is the method name connection factory is the method name so 
we already added a client dependency called JDIS. So we are using that JDIS connection factory to connect with a radius. Okay. So I am going to return it new JDIS connection factory. JDIS connection. Okay. So I am returning it. Uh, we already added uh, properties inside the application dot properties so that's why we don't need to write the property or specific property here because it uh, automatically get that properties inside the JDS connection factory okay so after that we need to uh, we need to space uh, give this connection to the redis template because uh, overall we are using a redis uh, we are using a redis template okay so for that purpose i am again creating one bean so it's a bean and it is going to return a redis template okay it's my bad again okay public public and it's going to return a redis template redis template okay redis template okay okay so it's going to return redis template the data should be any any kind of data so i am going to give the name of this get redis template okay get redis template okay so what this template do it basically uh, it basically uh, here we uh, what we do we create new redis template and provide a connection factory to that redis connection um, uh, to the redis template so I am doing Redis template. Okay, so it's a template is equal to new Redis template. Okay, so we have ready our Redis template here. Okay, so after that we need to provide this JDS connection factory to the template. So template should directly communicate with a Redis which is running here. Okay, so this is Redis. Okay, after that uh, we need to set connection factory uh, there is one method called set connection factory set connection factory where you can pass a get connection factory this is this method okay so we are pass it so our redis template is configured and ready to communicate with redis uh, redis server okay so i am going to return return it okay so i am going to return template okay so our configuration part is done so our next part is i am creating one entity which should be saved inside a redis okay so for that purpose i am creating one class okay so it's a entity okay it's an entity and i am creating class as a student again okay so first thing first you need to implement it with serializable why because uh, you need to while sending your object inside a radius you need to uh, serialize it and deserialize it according to your requirement okay so while you need to save it into the database you need a uh, you need to tell that this is a radius hash so for that purpose you, you are using an annotation called radius hash redis hash and provide any name uh, so we have name is uh, okay, value is student or std okay i am putting std as a value we are using lombok so that's why i am using adderet data okay so i am adding some fields here so for that purpose private string id so to know that this is id we are using annotation called id okay so we have only an id okay and after that uh, after that uh, i am adding some field so for that purpose i am adding name and again class name okay private string string name and city okay that's cool 
that's enough private string city okay so i added three field to communicate with jpa repository or not uh, we are not using jpa repository we are using crud uh, crud repository that's my bad so to know that uh, if uh, if you want to fire a specific query with the help of name like select star from student where name is something so for that purpose you need to tell tell the redis that uh, i need to fire the query on specific kind of attribute so for that purpose we are going to use a annotation called index okay sorry okay so this is index and i am using index with city2 okay so that's how you you create your student okay after that uh, i am going to create one repository for it and the uh, startup utility okay so this is a repo called student repository student repository okay and which extends a crud repository Because this is class, that's why I need to create interface. Create repository. Okay, so I am going to pass the name of class. So it's a student. Okay, so it's a student having a string as a primary key. Okay, so uh, our repository done. I am using annotation called Adderet repository. Uh, i am using again another annotation called enable redis repository enable redis repository okay so yeah so we are done with the entity we are done with the repository now what i am trying to do i am creating one startup utility so with the help of application runner or command line runner we can we can done with it startup utility yes okay, so yeah startup okay so i am implementing command line runner okay command line okay so we need to implement one method called run okay which execute on uh, whenever application is started i am creating a reference of reference of the repository called student repository student repo and it's a repo so i am creating a student here one student here I am going to set all properties here. St dot uh, set uh, city is equal to Nagpur. St dot set id is equal to one, which is in string. Again, after that, uh, st dot set name is equal to Pratik. and i am going to save this object inside database okay so repo dot save save st okay so this method return a student object which is saved inside a database okay so that's it and i am implementing logger here with the help of annotation log okay so log dot info so it is information for us i am using some uh, equal to here okay so i am printing save dot to string okay sorry save dot to string 
I think data have two string method in build, but uh, okay, means uh, I am talking about this at the data. Data have two string in build and two string. Yep, I am using it for sake of myself. Okay, so let's run this project. Let's see, is it working or not? Running, but uh, it's not printed anything. Maybe I missed something. The startup and uh, yeah, I miss component part. A direct component part. Let's see what is it. Okay. Now let's run this project. With the help of right click and run as Spring Boot project. Let's see what happened now. Yeah, it's saved into the database. So in this way, you can implement your uh, your Redis as a database, and you can perform any kind of operation with Redis. Thanks for watching.